This uh, species is a lined snake. They are fairly common here in Tulsa County, Wagner County area, and they're kind of distributed throughout most of central Oklahoma. These guys get confused with uh, garter snakes and brown snakes a lot. And they're, generally they turn up in gardens. They're uh, very adaptable to urban environments. Uh, they definitely can be found in, in cities, in your suburbs. And uh, a lot of people encounter these snakes while they are, while they're gardening. And they are harmless. Uh, they generally do not bite. They will, they will musk if you pick one up like what I'm doing now. And really fascinating little snake. I used to see a lot more of them than I do now. But at least I saw this one. Uh, they are not endangered. The populations of them are thought to be still pretty good. And they are earthworm eaters. Uh, they... Um, they may eat some other small uh, bugs, insects, things like that, but we do know that they eat earthworms. And they're definitely very squiggly, and they are hard to hold uh, unless you get a good grip on them. And take note of the um, half-moon shapes on their underbelly. Line snakes have a distinct half moon shape that goes in a row of twos that run up and down the length of the snake from the snout to the vent. And I'll try and show you some better pictures of this in a moment. But this is uh, the main identifying factor in a line snake that you would use to distinguish it from a garter snake or a Graham's crayfish snake or a brown snake, which they all get commonly confused with. Uh, once again, uh, take note of the uh, double half moon um, markings on the underside of this guy. It's definitely, definitely a cool snake. And with the line snake. This is going to conclude my series on tiny snakes. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate the support. Be sure to like. Uh, hit the subscribe button before you leave. And definitely stay tuned for next week's video because I have a lot more coming up. But this is the end of the tiny snake series and I appreciate you guys uh, sticking with me through it. Thank you very much.